Well, our guest, our guest is in studio. Totally love this man. He is hilarious and his points just hit home. A couple of weeks ago, I saw a post on Facebook he put up talking about the same conversation we're going to be talking about today. What happens? Because we see this beautiful girl, God-fearing, hardworking, smart. She's got all the values. Check, 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 check. But then she's not seeing somebody. She's not married. She's 40 years old. What went wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Because they look back at their friends who are, you know, carefree and everything. They didn't care. They were just living their life, having a good time. Those are the ones that got married. They have babies. They have good jobs. They have everything going for them. But then this particular one, Akofoti, what really happens? Benjamin Zulu, welcome to the show. <laughs> you put it somewhere. <laughs> Because I saw I your post. Your I know those girls. <laughs> I think I do. <laughs> I think I know those girls. I know, right? Yeah. Let's start by differentiating. There are people who get to 40 single by choice. Yes. They just don't want to say to anyone. Yes. And we are not telling you you must get married. Please mm -hmm. don't get us wrong. Mm -hmm. If you're in that category, this is your life. You enjoy alone. Enjoy it. <laughs> we are not talking about those people. Mm -mm. We are talking about those who have been trying to yes. get married yes. and successfully yes. until 40. I'll tell you the four sins most of them have committed. Four sins? Four sins. Thumbie. The, one... <laughs> the first sin, inheriting your family. Ah. <laughs> you inherit <laughs> your, your parents, family, all of it, so that you're the one, uh, and, and, and I'll, I'll put the balance, but I'm okay. showing you what happens here is not, we are not saying you don't help your family if you're the first one to break through financially. Okay. You will have to put up basic structures at home. <laughs> a decent house. Sometimes you have to put the water tank. You have to do basic things. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate that many of us have to play parents before we become parents. In fact, many of those girls, because I work with them a lot. Yeah. In fact, they form a large clientele of my work. Because many of them feel lost. They have succeeded in everything except in this one. <laughs> you know? And they want it. Yes. The problem is when you inherit your family and they occupy all your life, every day you are concerned with their affairs. You are the mediator when they are conflicting between the two of them. Yeah. Sending all your money home, undertaking projects at home, you are fully occupied. In fact, for, for by all means and purposes, you are the woman in that home. You even parent your parents. <laughs> you tell them how not to waste money, how not to do ABCD, how not to do all this. So all day long, your yeah. communication and your mind is in your family and your money. That's a problem. What the should family. you do there for? Yeah. You are supposed to balance your life to help them while you are still building yourself socially and career-wise. Because many of us are not, you get a contract of three years that is paying well, but all the money is going home. When the contract ends, you go back to poverty like them. I hear you. <laughs> I do. <laughs> So, because I've been growing up listening to your parents, now you're the one in authority. Although they are the parents, you're the one in power. They start commanding how you spend your money, how you spend your time, who to hang around with. They take you back to where they are. Because I'll tell you those with all due respect, yeah. your, fa your parents can't guide you any farther than they went. I, even if uh, we're saying we respect them. Yes, we do. <laughs> but the moment you surpass your parents, you must get another source of advice. Mm. If you keep advice, if you keep going to them to, to, for advice how, how you use your money, they will advise you the way they used to theirs, and you'll end up where they are. So, <laughs> the, <laughs> the way I'm just looking at you, it's like, way fire. Okay. From the, from, from, from the moment you break free, yes. the first thing to do is not to send everything you're getting home, it's to build a bridge to help them also cross by building yourself financially and socially. So go on dating, and when you find the person you want to settle with, tell them that you have responsibilities at home, you will continue playing. You'll have to pay fees for people there, <laughs> build, build basic structures. Mm -hmm. Let them, mm -hmm. If you'll take me for the next five or so years, my siblings are on my back, I have to carry them. <laughs> Many people will be very happy they're marrying a responsible person. Yeah. In fact, it does not hold you back. Many guys will, yeah, after you finish them, now you take up with ours. <laughs> you love. In fact, the reason I advise guys look for firstborn girls is because they are already mothers. Even Praise before they get. Praise Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you are them. <laughs> they are already mothers before they mother anyone. Yeah. <laughs> before, because I and, and I want to warn the rest of us. Those of us who marry, who marry early, is yes. because we were we were sheltered by the firstborn and we lived our life normally. Yeah. For her, she was mediating between mom and dad. Children and the parents, <laughs> the yeah. parents and the other, between the larger family. Sometimes the firstborn is carrying more than the parents. Interesting. That's the first scene. Scene number two. Okay. <laughs> I don't like that you're calling them scenes. <laughs> because they cost you so much. 
Benjamin, Benjamin I just turned 32. <laughs> I feel like I'm closer to 40 <laughs> than 30. <laughs> the other thing is, and this one yes. you're exempted from, okay. dressing dull. <laughs> ah, amen. <laughs> Away Those from that. Those girls mm. are, so, are too virtuous for their own good. Okay. <laughs> they inherited their mother in everything. They dress like their mother. And they tell them this. <laughs> you must not look like the younger version of your mother. You must look, your dressing must not look traditional, conservative. You know, you're saying, it's character that matters. My personality is okay. Your character is not visible, you dummy. You must be visible. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Love and romance is visual. Yes. It's visual. Read the book of Song of Songs and please stop interpreting that book in spiritual terms. Where? Some of you are being taught. No, when he talks about a uh, uh, breast, it's, it's a spiritual imagery. Really? Solomon was talking about real love. It may have several level, levels of interpretation. But please, I tell ladies, when you reach the age of dating, make sure your clothes are exact. Your mother's clothes are flamboyant. Mm. <laughs> At home, to be beautiful, to wear this kind of, you walk a walking package. When they enter the car, you also follow them with a baby and go up here with a Zingini ameshika even zingini akabebewa. Nguo ziko na level one. First, first floor, third floor. Na kingine uku, na kingine uku. Walking like a package, like you come back on the move. Are you serious? We, we are sorry. That's okay for the village. Yes. But please, when you reach... Eh, Single people have no way of identifying each other. We don't write here, I'm single. No. The only way we can tell is by how you carry yourself. So your dressing, therefore, yes. shall not be flamboyant or abundant or traditional or conservative. It shall be elegant, youthful, modern, playful, flattering, in fact, yani teasing, yani a, a little bit revealing, not too concealing. Not too revealing or not too concealing? What are you saying? <laughs> your mother told you to always wear this. Yes. I tell you, when you reach youth, Higher knee, that's the highest I want. When you're standing, the higher knee, that's all. Higher knee? Yes. <laughs> higher. <laughs> Not the low. <laughs> Where? The most charming part of you as a lady is your skin. If you okay. hide everywhere of your skin, you look dull. Mm. You must, and again, you must learn your body as a lady. What attracts people most about you? Find a way to always highlight it. Maybe it's your smile. So even when you cover, you're just there smiling, you're just... <laughs> Um, and laughing. So, <laughs> how to go to the other scene? Okay, so, <laughs> scene number three. Being all about work. Okay. If your life is all about work, from morning to evening work and at night work, guys want to ask you, want to chat you, you don't even reply to messages, you reply for three days. Sorry, I was busy with work. Sorry, I was busy with work. People will know you're too busy. They have no space. You have no space for them. You mm. be, actually, you fall under the radar without intending. You're very diligent at your work and very ignorant of your social work. You have a work to do for dating. Dating is like searching for a car or a house. It's work, Mary. It's not philosophical. Come Why was the manna not brought in the camp? And it was a miracle. If the manna was not brought in the camp, neither will the man be brought in your house. I agree. For the manna, you have to go one day's journey. For the man, you have to go one day's journey also. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so you must go your journey. So we are saying if you have a work and you're diligent because uh, many of you, uh, these ladies you are describing are very hardworking and they mm -hmm. put all their energy there. So balance your work, great time, evening, coffee times, chat with the guys. Nowadays we catch up online, online dating is more. And in this era of masks, be very careful because a mask is hiding your shine, your smile. So you must use photos to compensate. Take a lot of photos and be active on social media. That's how you compensate masks. If you're planning to date 2020 and your face is hidden, you are that must become a curse. You must be careful how to navigate it. Take photos, therefore. Photos of yourself and let, let be lively on, in the social space. You know, online dating has not been affected by masks. Masks have only closed the offline dating. Allah. <laughs> that is true, though. Scene number four. Yes. <laughs> Being socially isolated. Okay. <laughs> Socially isolated. It's related to the other, but it's slightly different. Some of the ladies don't pay attention to social media at all. They don't post anything. And your mother is your friend on Facebook. Your uncle. They shouldn't be. Your older brother. They shouldn't be. You should only put f uh, relatives who are allies. <laughs> the uncles, the aunties. No, the ones who are your friends. The ones yeah. who are your friends. Yeah. It's not about whether you're related. It's about do we have a relationship. Yeah. Stop putting those who, I'm, tell, I'm telling you the first solution to change, to start enter dating is to transform your wardrobe. Go and donate all that choir clothing to choirs in church. Why? Okay, wait a <laughs>
<laughs> Go purchase clothing that say, that say this is your season. That make it impossible to be ignored. And I want to sound a warning for 23 year olds. Mm -hmm. Especially 23 year olds. Why 23? <laughs> because I'm very confused. Okay. <laughs> Some uh -huh. of them land, they have a, a big here sitting allowance or big, and then they take all their photos aiming the camera there. That's foolishness. That's not what I'm talking about. Okay. You must experience, exp exercise subtlety. Look queenly. If you only post photos uh, of just the same way, same way showing us, you look like an insecure attention seeker. Mm. I'm talking about looking overall like queenly mm -hmm. and finding a way to always be in people's minds. Okay. That's how you show, that's how you're in the market. And nothing, uh, another thing is uh, being socially isolated. Be socially, even if you have not been posting on Facebook. Nowadays, if you are depending on people to see you, I've told you, first of all, our faces are hidden. <laughs> Number two, most of you live in a triangle. From work to home and to church. So triangle, work, home, church. You hardly ever go anywhere else. <laughs> no restaurants, no nothing. And then you come to ask me, how come only married men spot me? They are the only ones who can see you. <laughs> so... Go, please enter the social space of the singles. Where is it? It's, 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 we differentiate ourselves not by physical place we meet yes. behind the tent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we meet by some behaviors. Yeah. So dress in a manner that says, talk to me. Okay. Don't dress in a manner that says, leave me alone, like mm -hmm. your mother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Another thing is, you need to realize that socially, when I say socially, online, I'm not just talking about Tinder and take, dating. M many of them, you can try, but many of them are full of fake people. It's true. <laughs> the best dating site is Facebook and Instagram. The no more social media. That's where people are real. <laughs> That's where people are themselves. No, I'd like to know if there is hope for this forty-year-old. And you know, right. <coughs> to end a break, to Rudy, because I'm coming back with okay. you, Obado Benjamin. Is there hope for, for so Amefika forty, Sawa, and she's really, really interested in getting married because we're talking about her today, and. Um, what should she do then at that point? If you have any opinions, questions for Benjamin Tutu, triple nine is our free SMS line. We're taking a very short commercial break. We will be right back. Welcome back to Full Circle. And uh, yeah, you guys have questions. Stella from Rongai only says, wah. <laughs> and someone else says, I love this guy. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> this too. man is making my morning I'm married, but I sure can borrow some tips to spice up my marriage. That is what's up. Uh, Benjamin, you have talked about dating sites. To be honest, I don't think dating sites are safe. A lot of people disguise themselves to be good people, yet they're not. Uh, on these sites. But I said uh, they are full of pretense. Exactly. You say that. So apart from dating sites, what else would you advise ladies over 40? And I'm going to tie that in with this other SMS here. So my, Hi, Benjamin. I am 40 and I've been following your conversations. To be honest, I am 40 years old and unmarried. But this is because my heart was broken uh, so badly, making it hard to love again. I have been dressing like Zulu is saying, but still nothing i think sometimes it's just a matter of waiting for the right person so this and the other question what would be your advice to ladies who are now over 40 and they still have you know the willingness to Thank get you. into a and i want to warn people against the word waiting yes when you want a plot or a car do you say i'm waiting for the right car no. waiting for the right plot i think you go out and Thank hunt you. for the car so number one for 40 year olds <laughs> now that you are done with trying to find out how your career will turn out and those who are pressuring you from home have gotten tired and left you alone yes <laughs> it's true <laughs> so the other thing is some people by now have a kid or they don't have so some of the deadlines now happily you have outgrown them the society was wait when is the wedding to let them <laughs> so, yeah they get tired now <laughs> they, they say who you are channel eh? <laughs> so by now you can date in a better in a better sober mind because now you're mentally uh, mature and you know how your career will turn out so mm -hmm. the person you are dating now you're not guessing what you become whether your career is compatible with them so start here if you know you are, and i said social isolation because some people are just emotionally isolated they dress well but they sabotage themselves because they've never healed from a former heartbreak many get to 40 because they started dating at the stupid age of 21. Hmm? Say that again. 
<laughs> they got heartbroken <laughs> because they got heartbroken at the stupid age of 21. Next time I'll tell you about degrees of immaturity. 19, I call it uh, the happy teenager with a sweet tooth for candy. <laughs> 20, I call them dancing feet. <laughs> 21, sleepwalking. 22, happily lost. <laughs> 23, totally confused. <laughs> 24, crossroads. 25, the dawn of sanity. Ah. <laughs> so if you do an heartbreak, wait until you're 25. And don't just wait. Study. Master your personality. Master your career. Now, if you have a heartbreak and you're 20, uh, 40, please heal it. So start here. Number one, widen your net now. Start, st open yourself to date even returnees. Those were the first marriages, something mm -hmm. went wrong. Mm -hmm. And some of them are already 50. Mm -hmm. No problem. Now judge people's character. Note their history. The other thing is be proactive. Are you saying at this point it's a kwangumu kupata a young man who's single? Most guys like, don't get 40 at single. They have done true. something somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so be ready to date a guy with a child. Just check the character more mm -hmm. than where he is. The other thing is don't worry even dating younger people. Mm -hmm. When you are 40 and you have not done anything, you still look very young. Una mtoto, <laughs> you be stressed, yeah. but you're still very youthful. Yeah. Me actually mistake you to be 28 mm -hmm. or <laughs> oh, 32, then mm -hmm. about. When you say you're 40, they can't believe it. Yeah. I've been annoyed when I met a, a lady who's 42. She turned the guy down, simply because he was six years younger. Don't look at years, look at the mind. Can you think together? Can you work together? D d does he seem mature? Can he lead you? Does he make you feel gal does, does he love you? Does he? So stop concentrating on petty things like years. Yeah. <laughs> no, look at maturity. Why don't you are net? The other thing is be proactive. And I said, be very watchful with them. Uh, be very careful with the people who, because by now you're somewhere career-wise. Yes. If they came because of your money, I don't want you to get projects. We want mm -mm. a partner. Yes. Not somebody you try, you try to fund them, fund them here, fund them there. D don't let your compassion be manipulated. Because <laughs> now the kids love you, Thomas. Pay, pay this, pay this much. So be very careful. You want somebody at least where you are or ahead of you. Okay. Because you still want him to spoil you. Absolutely. And cherish you. Yeah. Your SMSs, we have so many. So I'll try to go through <laughs> okay. them pretty first. I am Tina. I'm not at 40, though I'm a firstborn in a family of five. So I'm dating this guy who's never comfortable any time I mention or um, any time I mention of supporting my family. He always thinks I'm doing so much. I come from a poor background and I really feel my family needs me. What should I do? Let them, but the both of them, see a professional. Let them have okay. a conversation. Somebody to facilitate the talk. Maybe the guy is sincere. He doesn't understand your world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you need to make him to understand. Okay. Yeah. Uh, good morning, Benjamin. Um, you have described... Uh, Benjamin has described from all of the scenes. Uh, okay, fine. Currently, I'm 37 years old. My brother sometimes makes a joke that good girls don't usually get the corner office. I really desire to get married. I need help, Eva. Uh, 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 Eva, please, let's have a personal conversation. Because I want to check your full history. But I want to tell you that because you are now open for self-evaluation, mm -hmm. the good girls don't know how to put themselves out there. They were told that a good girl sits home and waits. <laughs> That is when the, the, the parents would go out to look for the husband for you. But that is not happening as well. Because you are told, you are good, avoid boys, don't get pregnant, you be careful, be serious, look at, you know, you are told to stay and then suddenly you ask, where is the man, bring a man. <laughs> they never told you to look for one. So probably she just never made the mental switch or not to put herself out there. Absolutely. Uh, hey, Mikali, your story, Minimaliza, donate your choir clothes at a mini. <laughs> that is Masi watching from Wendani. Hey, what if that, uh, what if for that person so not to get to that age maybe something that happened to them during their teen years then they just gave up what will she do to get back yes i think I've you also you start by healing if you have emotional disability that came from a bad breakup go heal it mm -hmm. you can't play when you have an injury yeah. we usually take you out to cure you because if you stay in here you never play you'll be focusing on protecting the injury <laughs> so better to go and heal first <laughs> that is true this is a game you need to be healthy yeah and they say that hurt people hurt other people. Thank you. And when yeah. a car stalls on the road, either we alert others. Yes. <laughs> Someone is tall. Or we pull you out of the road. Or we, 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 you need to go to garage. So if you've got a heartbreak, deal with it first. You will never be objective. In fact, have you ever tried talking to a person and they transfer all the pain they have with other women to you? Yeah. Because when you come to your women are all the same. You know, hey, yeah, Maggie used to tell me that. Even mm. I, you, now, you're all you women. You have never healed from the heartbreak. Heal first. Otherwise, you will transfer all the bitterness to us. And people, by the way, bitterness is very repelling. Okay. And when I talk to 40 year olds, first, first signal is most 40 year olds are not very digital. It's that generation that uh, is called Generation X. They're not why, why in Asia that's seven. Mm -hmm. So most of them are not, were not born with phones and gadgets. They grew into it, but it's not their inner. So they're better in offline dating. And because I tell them most of your partners will come from offline connections. At Amgianza online, it will be brief. Then yes. when the video calls, learn to smile. Some of the ladies are too serious. 
<laughs> because they are bosses. See, they are CEOs. Yes. This group, they are CEOs. They're in high play and they're called lady boss. And they walk. They, they have a presence as they walk. So she just can't make the switch to be this girl who is playful and allowing herself to be led. She can't even dance with a guy. She is learned to, she used to call calling shots. So when a guy talks that feels like you're talking to the lady boss, you must learn how to make the switch. Smile, be a playful, playful, sexually excitable girl. That's what men are looking for. La. They are not looking for uh, this lady who came with this car and has a driver and uh, somebody carrying it. Hey, hold my keys there. <laughs> you don't do that. No. <laughs> don't place the keys on the table to show me yours is a Subaru. <laughs> Service. Try to be, in fact, try to be that. Uh, you, you turn on your charm now, not your authority. <laughs> so even if you are 40 and you're in positions of leadership at workplace, dating, we need you to sit. Be, dating is a game and it requires a light touch, not seriousness. Okay. <laughs> it requires a light touch and playfulness. Don't be too, no, I don't need that. Don't ask the guy, what, do you, what, what are you eating? Um, give me the same. Sometimes learn to flow. So that mm -hmm. you, so, you mm -hmm. learn his taste, you learn his, you know, and, 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 and I'm saying, if you're always the leader in your workplace, learn now to be a follower in relationships. Ah. Men are not trying to look for a leader in a woman. That is interesting yes. because when you bring in the bossy side to okay. him, then you're putting him down in some way. But then again, it doesn't mean that I have to now be on the floor. It's, no, no, we are not saying that. Yeah. Remember, humility does not, does not mean despising yourself. Okay. It means learning which position you should be playing here. <laughs> and this uh, Veen from Mombasa says something that you've just mentioned right now. Ladies who have made it in life, they have a certain confidence that makes a man think she is rude. So is that the problem of the lady being confident? Because I'm also at this point, if I'm 40, I am uh, self-actualized. My self-esteem, I know who I am. I know what I'm about. So that might also come off as rude. Of which men get afraid of approaching such a lady. That is Veen from Mombasa. When you have stayed up to 40 alone, you have learned how to manage your life. You are very self-sufficient. Yes. Be yes. very careful. <laughs> <laughs> men don't want a self-sufficient woman. They want a, a woman who shows him the role he will play. So learn, even if you're confident, confident mm -hmm. and arrogance are different. Okay. I, I want you to learn to ask him to change a bulb for you. Even if you could have paid a guy to do it. Ask him to change the battery for you. Mm -hmm. Ask assistance in small things so that he can see that there's a space for him in your life. Know that you have hired, you have outsourced all the services <laughs> until he's, he's reduced. Sometimes ask him to carry, to drive you. If you're wasting your car, you mind yeah. driving me? I like the way you drive. Even if you don't, <laughs> pretend like you do. In life, you must learn how to act. You, all, you ladies have been told about men's ego, yeah. ego, ego. I want to break it down to a simple Please. thing. <laughs> to say idea. So, show him his relevance in your life. Simple. Okay. <laughs> so, give me the small masculine tasks of fixing the car, of fixing the bulb, of lift, carrying this for you, and appreciating sincerely. Those small things, there's a boy in every man. Always engage that boy. Okay. <laughs> okay, without calling it out. <laughs> Just engage the boy. Okay, so I want to tell this lady, don't stop being confident. Because if, if you pretend to be not who you are then, you'll have lied to the person. They'll have married a lie. Yeah. But at the same time, you're saying, be naturally humble. Being successful in career does not mean you're not humble. In any case, you still have bosses above you and you always admit to them. This yeah. is not a new thing. Okay. You are not the star everywhere. Actually, when you go home, Mary, you can tell us, they take you like a child, they send, send you around like yeah. an errand girl. Hey, you yeah. bring me that cup. Now, these girls are nowadays, can you see the visitors don't have... <laughs> so, this, there are places where you are not even respected. Remember those places, they will keep you humble and remind you your roots. <laughs> Good morning, Benjamin. So, you mean we men are, we are responsible for chasing after ladies, while women approach us through the physical appearance. Gideon Ezra from Nakuru. Exactly, that's the right thing, Gideon. You want the hunter to be chased by the prey? No. Even if a lion was looking for an antelope, and then when an antelope came running, that lion will run. <laughs> that antelope must be having something. Yeah. So I'm saying, the work of a woman is to simply turn on her charm and invite you to her shop. It's the work of the man to pursue. That's why women never propose. <laughs> mm -hmm. Never tell a guy I like you. Never tell a guy I love you. You can only like his suit, like his work, like his ideas, like him indirectly. To invite him to pursue you. When he pursues you, study him to see whether he ticks the boxes of the man you're looking for. If he doesn't, leave that guy alone. Go, on, go to the next one. Some of the ladies got to 40 because they dated the wrong candidate, interviewed one candidate for eight years. Surely? <laughs> <laughs> this is an interview, dummy. Don't stay with one candidate so long. 
Oh my God, I love what Benjamin is highlighting. He also needs to let ladies know that men are so preoccupied by other issues that they don't want to struggle getting a partner. Asante. As they play hard to get or not being cheap and simple, ladies should also know the right time to give in. We say, ladies, don't play hard to get stage one. When a man shows interest to you, invite him readily. Mm -hmm. Stage one, don't play hard to get. Okay. Even stage stage one is charming. If he, have, he has been caught by your, by your charm, Flow with it. Chat him up. Do the video call. See whom you're dealing with. If you happen to like him, go to stage two of role playing. Imagine you were his woman. How would it feel like? How does he want to treat his woman? And can he play your man? That is stage two now of role playing. Stage three, because now you're being coming. He's a, he has called, I think this guy is good. I can go there. Now stage three, you switch. Now run away for him to run after you. So when he runs after you now, you set conditions. Me, I want A, B, C, D for husband. Can you match up with that? If he agrees now, you seal the deal. Stage four. Don't move in somehow. Don't get a child somehow. Don't start living together somehow. Oh, that is stupidity. That will get you to 45 without anyone. Mm. And you start feeling forms. Are you married or single? I don't you know. I have a man, but I don't I'm married. Avoid that <laughs> negotiation. Then sealing the deal. Because when you negotiate, you say, me, I want a wedding or I want something. Custom. I want the day my transition changes from being single to being taken. You will set the terms. Constitution is written in stage four. You negotiate in the boardroom, not bedroom. Yes. <laughs> Okay, Very true. <laughs> so when you seal the deal now, so it's supposed to be a process. So don't run away stage one, stage two. You don't know him, learn him, invite him. You don't look like you can afford the cars. Mm -mm. Okay, welcome customer. This is five million. They can see from the, you don't look like you can afford. But they still tell you the price anyway. So invite all onlookers and window shoppers. <laughs> Let them know your price. Yeah. As you also gauge them whether they measure up. Okay. Uh, hey. You guys are going to kill me today. Mary and Benjamin, hello. Hello. I think many girls are single because they look for men who are rich, for getting money and wealth are searched for. That is a Flora from the Goto. Thank you, Flora. Those are not the girls we are advising today. Those ones are miserably lost. They are irredeemable. Mm. <laughs> they are mistaking the man with his money. If a man acquires you with his money, he will take you like his Subaru. He also acquired it with money. He will treat you like property. Yeah. So we are talking about the virtuous girls who have all the good qualities. They are patient, they are supportive, they are honest, they mean well, they are godly, they are prayerful. You know, it's just a wife package. Life material. <laughs> but it somehow got left in the, in the collecting room. Yeah. <laughs> it just got forgotten there. So yeah. we are saying, what went wrong with this girl? So those are the girls who mistake money is money. We pity them. We will, we will advise them another day, but they are simply lost. They are facing the wrong direction. So, yeah. <laughs> so should uh, a lady who's looking to get married be able to see different <clears throat> kinds of men at the same time? Thank you. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Don't give a man exclusivity before he earns it. Remember we said when the stage one of charming and role playing, you're checking many of them and you're not doing sex. Mm -mm. Evaluation is not done in the bedroom, it's done in the boardroom. Okay. One conversation is enough, Mary. One conversation is enough to tell with what kind of a fellow you're dealing with. <laughs> you can tell whether he's obnoxious <laughs> or he's easy. You don't want a man who's looking for a person to dominate. And we say um, returnees, those guys who came from divorces and this, many of them were the victims, other themselves were the, were the dominees, they are the ones who are, who, are, who, are, who, are, who are the abusers. Yeah. So you want to check who you're dealing with. By now you have learned how to identify narcissists, you have learned how to identify emotional con men, others are explorers, there are men who never outgrow teenage. They are still checking out sampling women at 50. <laughs> They're still doing it. So he has yeah. don't tell you about maturity. That's you true. check a person's behavior to tell how mature they are. Yeah. Morning, I'm in a situation where my boyfriend loves me so much, but I fear that his character is going to be an issue with my folks. And to, and to, hmm, and he fears confrontations from them. What will I do to lock this? What is the character? You see, I'm wondering, you see, character is non-negotiable, Mary. Mm -hmm. That's one of our viewers. Yes. If a man is dishonest, that's a character flaw. If he can con you, if he lies, if he's non-committed, mm. if, he, if, if he tries to sabotage you, mm. those are character, you can't negotiate that. What are you, where are you going with that? It's like an engine, a car that has an, an engine that is knocked. Where are you going with it? So don't negotiate. Love is not enough. No. You need respect. You need security. You need assurance. You need stability. You need leadership. So if he loves you all that much, but he can't work for money, he, you can't count on him, he is on all other women, what is the love there for? <laughs> so don't just look at love, he loves me so much. <laughs> that, those are the 23 years I was saying, who fall helplessly in love. He's cheating on me, but you see I can't leave him because I love him. 
Oh my good lord. So I'm trying to juggle between uh, Facebook yeah, yeah, and yeah. also the SMSs so we don't feel like we've left them out. Yeah. Um, Mukali, good morning. I am that woman Benjamin is talking about. I'm 40. I'm not anywhere near 40. Imagine when guys realize that women have responsibilities. Uh, they just avoid them. I'm taking care of my dad. Who, I was taking care of my dad um, who was recovering from a stroke. I have decided to build myself. I worry less about relationships Think, now. Oh, okay. Please, but don't, don't sign out yet. Right now, you are very strong and you can manage your life. Yes. When you are 60, you will begin to regret some of these things. So don't give up because of pain. If you decide to live alone, let it be from a sober evaluation of your life. Yes. Not from pain and disappointment. There is still hope. Don't get so used to lonely that, loneliness yeah. that you forget that love is still an option. Oh, wow. Don't get so used to loneliness that you forget that love is still an option. Especially if you really want to get into that. Yes. Because she says she's been a victim of this after a guy uh, realized that she was doing all of this and the guy just left her. And she's describing only one candidate. Mary, let's tell people, please go to the market. Stop dealing with the brokers. Where is this market? Somebody actually has asked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kuna amtua na uliza, um, since umesema we don't have the triangle, uh, where are these single men? <laughs> They are not in Ruaka, <laughs> or Runda, or Kasarani. It's not a location where they are seated it's now. It's not a location for it's sure. It's a virtual space. And I said, you penetrate that space by dressing the, playing the part. Be socially visible. Mm -hmm. Dress the part. Be open for interactions. Mm -hmm. Have a, a easy spirit. Or be, be, you talk to strangers. Talk to new people. Try to reach you. That's how you... It's that simple. It's all simple that people overlook it. Absolutely. I, I, I totally, yeah, the SMSs are so many, but our time has run out. How can people get in touch with you if they have their cool questions? Facebook page. You? My Facebook mm -hmm. page is Benjamin Zulu KE. And all other media, uh, Instagram, Twitter, uh, is Benjamin Zulu KE. Email mm -hmm. Benjamin Zulu KE at Gmail. And also YouTube Benjamin Zulu Absolutely. KE. Thank you. Thank you for coming through. You're always a delight to have on the show. And we're taking a very short commercial break. We'll be right back, so don't go too far.